We begin, obviously, with this history-shaping, history-changing story from The Independent. Uh, reports, alleged non-human alien corpses have been displayed to Mexican politicians at the country's Congress. The two small alleged alien corpses retrieved from uh, Peru were presented in windowed boxes in Mexico City on Wednesday, starting excitement within the UFO conspiracy theorist community. The event was spearheaded by a journalist and UFOologist, uh, Jamie Masson, who testified under oath that the mummified specimens are not part of our terrestrial evolution, with almost a third of their DNA remaining unknown, reported Mexican media. The claims by the uh, self, uh, self-claimed UFOologist have not been proven, and Mr. Masson has uh, previously been associated with claims of discoveries that have later been debunked. Okay, first of all, that's a very rude paragraph, I have to say. So you're telling me if this guy makes one claim about aliens that's that's debunked, allegedly, suddenly he's not allowed to present evidence of actual aliens that he finds? Like, okay, so he made a claim about aliens that was debunked, and then he happened to find real aliens. What do you want him to do? You want him to not tell us about it? Because he's, 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 he said, well, I've been debunked once, so now I'm disqualified. It's like, you know, I understand the boy who cried wolf, but if the boy cries wolf and, and he lies, and then the next day he brings the wolf to you and says, here's a wolf, like, are you going to say, no, this is a psyop, right? I mean, think about it. So uh, continuing, at the public hearing, Mr. Massan showed U.S. officials and members of the Mexican government several videos of UFOs and unidentified anomalous phenomena before unveiling the alleged alien corpses. He said, quote, these specimen are not part of our terrestrial evolution. These aren't beings that were found after UFO wreckage. They were found in uh, in algae mines and were later fossilized. Mr. Massan told attendees the specimens have been studied by scientists at the Autonomous National University of Mexico who were able to draw DNA evidence using radiocarbon dating. After comparisons were made to other DNA samples, it was found that over 30% of specimens' uh, DNA was unknown. And then he also showed uh, x-rays, and um, he said that bodies have eggs inside, uh, while both were said to have implants made of very rare metals. Okay, and also these were a thousand years old. They were able to date them to a thousand years old. Now, so this is tremendous. So we have actual, so now we have the final piece. Everyone said, UFO sightings, that's not enough. I'm not convinced. Uh, Where are the actual alien bodies? Well, here you go. Here they are. What do you have to say now? Uh, We have the actual video of him unveiling the uh, alien corpses. So let's put that up on the screen. Evolution terrestre y que después de desaparecer no hay una evolución. You, see, you can see him there in the boxes, laying very comfortably. De acuerdo a la Universidad Nacional Autónoma de... And if you don't speak Spanish, what he's saying, he's saying uh, these are real aliens... Los análisis These are 100% real. It's been proven. Estos seres tienen it's a fact. Alrededor de mil años de ben Shapiro is wrong. Es decir, no se trata Look at this, Ben Shapiro. What do you have to say now? Apologize to Matt Walsh. Apologize to him, he says. And he, and he continues along that way. Uh, so I'm, I'm bilingual, so a little bit of a translation there. So I'll tell you. Okay, so uh, no, put the put the picture back on the screen. What do you, we, have, we have images of actual aliens. We take them off the screen. Like what it, Put it on the screen the entire time. Can we see the images again of the aliens? Okay, right there. So, you, you know, what else do you need to see? That's the alien. And, I t- so I'll t- and I want to tell you exactly what happened. I'll tell you exactly what happened. So, first of all, we have to admit, I, I think, for, for a thousand-year-old corpses, uh, you know, they're pretty cute little guys. You know, and, and I mean, they look like an uh, elf on the shelf or something. Uh, like they could be, you know, like they're your friends who, who come to watch over you. And I can tell you just from my own analysis that, uh, and you know, after having studied this or read the articles, I've looked at these aliens, um, I've looked at the, the DNA sequences, and what I can tell from my own uh, research and studies is that these were definitely friendly aliens, 100%, 100% guaranteed. And that's, again, based on my own research. So these were, these were friendly little guys who came to Earth, and um, you know, I'm betting they had fun little names like, uh, you know, like Beep and Bop or something were probably their names, I'm guessing. And so Beep and Bop came all this way, and they were just looking to make friends, and they were just, you know, they wanted to hang out and have a good time. And I'll tell you exactly what happened. So they landed in pre-Columbian South America, and that is just, 
That's bad luck, man. That is that is not where you want to be. That's not the time you want to be. It's just they're off. They're off by a few thousand miles and a few hundred years. And uh, they really got the wrong side of that coin flip. And now, now this was, in fairness to uh, to Peru a thousand years ago, this was a thousand years ago. So if you're, it's a thousand years ago and you're a tiny, friendly alien from an advanced civilization, there's not going to be anywhere on Earth that's great to land. There's not, not going to be any great options for you. Uh, there's no ideal spot on the planet at that time, but you probably would have been better off with medieval Europe. Um, I mean, you... In a medieval Europe, you probably still would have been captured and burned at the stake under the assumption that you're a demon. Uh, but uh, you might be able to reason with them. There's a chance. But landing in Peru, now you're dealing with, I guess, at that point, like the Inca, I think, or maybe whatever the pre-Inca tribe was. And now you've got human sacrifices going on. So I guarantee, I guarantee they landed. And there's a whole group of them, these adorable little Ewoks. They landed. And most of them were immediately captured and scalped and butchered. And you could just imagine them strolling up to the Incan uh, death temple and just naively. And they're like, hey, folks, just uh, stopping by from planet Nepton or whatever. Just wanted to say hi. And then, boom, one of them is hit in the face with a spear. And it's a bloodbath. And the two survivors, they run into a cave and they hide. And they're just looking at each other like, holy crap, man, what the hell kind of planet is this? We, this is not, this is the wrong solar system. We need to get out of here. And you can actually see them, you can see them cringing. You know, he's at, he, he died cringing. They're just cringing. They're like, geez, this place is rough. And they died of starvation or whatever, you know, or of exposure. They died of the cold. And maybe they got bit by a rattlesnake or something. That's my theory. And, um, and that's it. And that's what happened. And that's my analysis. And I'm happy to provide this testimony uh, to the Mexican government. Um, that's the whole story of Beep and Bop that I've spent seven minutes on with, during what's supposed to be a news segment. If you'd like to see what else I have to say, you can access my full show by going to dailywire.com or by going to the Matt Wall Show Twitter page. Hope to see you there. Godspeed.